What is up guys, welcome back. So this is my just an introduction video to Golems B wait, this isn't the right floor. This is so not the right floor. Golems B7. Um, I finally got my B7 team completed, although I recently raised my six star or my first six star, my dark C star to six star. Um, and she's not max level yet, so she's a little bit weaker than when she was six star. I'm just gonna do a run through. Uh, I think it should still be fine. I haven't I haven't tried it yet ever, ever since I leveled her, but you know I've I've done these runs a few times. Um, I've done a few runs with this this team a few times, and it seemed to have worked pretty well. Like I did like a 20 run just now um, when she was still five star, and I was able to basically clear all 20 times. So I think it's relatively stable. Although some of the some of the times at the very very end um, when I'm fighting the boss. I do have someone die, but usually the boss goes down right after, so it's normally fine. Um, I'm going to be going out and, and taking a look at the runes later, but just from the top of my head, um, the runes that I have on my units, the Dark Sea Star is on triple defense, just a normal, like the, the flat defense set. I had that set for a long time. It was basically just um, filler runes that I've used for, for a very long time. My nightmare is on defense, like I think it's defense, defense, HP. Um, the runes are plus six, so it's kind of it's kind of shitty. Um, it's just a uh, it's just another flat defense set, and I think the dark sea stars runes are at plus nine. Like all three slots are at plus nine. My wood miho is on attack, HP, defense, and all the runes are plus six. Um, it's a conviction set for the resist. And my Hana is also on a conviction set with um, recovery, HP, um, wait, recovery HP defense. Yes, and the recovery rune is actually a better rune. It's a five star rune that has. Um, it's a five star rune that's like at, at plus twelve. I basically made it that way so she's able to basically full heal my team um, whenever she uses heal. I just want to make sure she's able to keep my team alive at all times. But this team is really stable, especially at the very beginning and the middle few stages. Because as soon as um, my Nightmare or my my Miho is able to get their second skill off, I'm basically guaranteed to to win. Because um, once they use it, it's just, it's just CC plus SP. And my Hana is a basically able to heal the next turn. So as long as your units are tanky enough and you're using enough wood units, you should definitely be able to survive the, the beginning. I'm just using my C star because my C star is kind of my tankiest unit, and I did get her to, to six stars. Um, so you know she's definitely a lot better than before. Well, she's not at the moment because she's actually weaker than when she was at five stars because she's not at max level. Um, but yeah, usually usually these runs are pretty stable, pretty safe. The only thing, the only really, really bad thing that can happen is if my um, Hana gets like petrified and they all focus one unit. And I'm not able to um, use my heal. Usually, like at the beginning, because once I'm able to cast like one heal, I'm usually able to um, to to just keep healing. Because once I once my other units are able to nuke them, um, their my SP will fill up, and I'll be able to do a lot more damage. I think it'll be a lot faster if I focus the boss. Um, he still has attack buff. I don't think attack buffs that serious. As soon as I get some defense buff on his face, I should be fine. The I think the only way it can really fail is if um, you know if my Hana gets petrified and then my Miho is doesn't land armor armor break for a very very long time, and the boss like just refuses to go down. But usually most of the time is fine. All right, so the boss finally has attack down. Um, he's not going to be doing too much damage, especially when I have. Um, armor buff on my whole entire team. It's just really annoying when he has attack buff. I probably should kill the thing on the side. I really shouldn't leave it alive. If my Hana got petrified just now, like, you know, during that that time, um, I probably, my, my team probably would have died. I'm gonna have some of them focus this one down, I think. The team's a little bit slow because I don't have a lot of attack. I think in the future if I if I have like better runes or if I plan to upgrade my runes a bit more, I might have like one attack or put in like a crit rate, um, take out one of the defense slots on my Miho and put in crit rate 
And once my C star gets to like six stars, I'm, I'm gonna change her runes up and do like defense, crit rate, defense uh, for more damage. Yeah, this is really bad. Like right now, right now. Um, oh wait, my Hana has a has a full bar. So basically, during this time, like after the two units die. Um, I basically need to land something, and if I don't land something, it's usually really, really bad. Like, if I'm not able to land the armor break, um, sometimes I won't be able to kill the boss fast enough. But sometimes, like, some of the times he just kills one of, one of my units, and the other units still finish him off, even if I don't land the armor break. Alright, so this is the ideal situation. I land attack down and a armor buff. So we can just nuke him. Just look at how much more damage it does when you land the armor break. I think if you want it to be really stable, um, I'd probably take out the Nightmare and put in someone, some other wood unit that has like a first skill um, armor break as well. Or even remove the Dark Sea Star and also put in a unit that has like a first skill armor break. I think that might be a lot better. Alright, let's just hope I can put some damage on him before before my units start dying. It's a little bit slow. That's why I I've, um, I don't really I don't really like this team that much. But it's it's what I have. It's like kind of the only units I can use to farm this level right now. But I'd say all in all, it's pretty stable. All right, that was about six minutes um, to do one run. It's kind of kind of not ideal. At least give me some like something decent, or even a five star flat that I can sell. Oh, it's a six star. It's a flat, but I can sell it for for money anyway, so it's good. All right, so really quick look at their stats. My C star is like this, uh, you know, triple defense. Not exactly the best at plus nine. My Miho is on HP, defense, attack at plus six, conviction set. She's only evil two, almost at evil three. I just need like four more Mihos. My nightmares at evil two, um, HP, defense, defense at plus six. My Hana has recovery, um, defense, HP. And this one's like plus 7, this one's plus 6, and this one's at plus 12. Just, you know, this is kind of the only rune I've invested a lot in just to make sure she's able to max heal everyone um, when she actually does her heal. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I think in the future I'll definitely be doing like some, some sort of guide um, team building for, for Golems B7. And yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.